Welcome to Ready, Set, Sold with your host, Brian Vogt. Are you wanting or even thinking about selling your house but don't know where to start? Good thing you've found Ready, Set, Sold. And now, real estate broker, Brian Vogt. Welcome, everyone, to Ready, Set, Sold. I am your host, Brian Vogt. Thank you so, so much for joining us this Saturday. It's hard to believe that we are coming into November. My goodness. As they say, where does the year come? And we're getting ready for the uh, the trick or treat kids, and that's a, that's always a cool thing. I, I absolutely personally love that love this type of gear, and that is is because the fall and the leaves, all those things that used to be when I was a kid that you had the burning leaves. I understand now for health reasons that's not something that's that's done anymore. But even without that, it's just a really nice time of the year, um, and it's also a great time to sell your house. As I mentioned before, the fall season is the second best time to sell your house. And why I say that is, well, really for two reasons. Number one, uh, getting in November, uh, even in December as we're going into the holiday season, those things kind of work hand in hand. In January, for the last, I don't know, two or three years in the Metro East, has been the most second most sales happen in the month of January meaning a house goes on the market maybe in November now and it's on the market for three or four weeks, has a closing of 30 days and closes maybe after the first of the year. And that's what makes this time of year so great. There's so many reasons why people are looking for houses. It's still time now to get your house on the market and still possibly getting your house sold and being in your new house, but also the new buyers being in their new house before the holidays. January is is the second most closing meaning solds in the Metro East. The first one is still July, and that's usually from the spring market and part of the summer market too. So just FYI on that, it's a great time to sell. That's one of the things that's been so fantastic about this market. I've talked about it now for, for weeks, actually even months, and that is is the market has held its course. It keeps on having great returns for people putting their house on the market, getting it sold for top dollar in a fast sale. And so if you're even considering now looking to put your house on the market, it's not too late. We just had some uh, clients just the other day. Uh, we had the kind of same conversation. They were concerned about the, you know, the time of the year. Should they wait till spring? Of course, you can wait till spring, but I, I will tell you that uh, we, we're having great success. And I know other realtors are too in the Edwardsville, Collinsville, Bobo, Swansea, Shiloh, Columbia, near Sky Force Base, Mascuda. All parts of the area of the Metro East is still holding strong. And that's a, and that's a great thing and something that uh, the seller should be aware of. Briefly, how we got started, uh, this whole thing got started, uh, that was uh, some months ago now. I wrote a number one best-selling book called Ready, Set, Sold, 12 Proven Steps to Get Your House Sold Fast and for Top Tower, St. Louis, Metro East. Uh, the radio station, 1380, The Answer. And I don't remember the FM dial. I probably should. That's a bad thing on my part. But, again, either way that you're listening to us, I think it's is it Joey 105.1. 105.3. 105.3? Yeah. Okay. Well, point three. Okay, thanks, Joey. Joey's my producer. He does a fantastic job. But like I said, we've we've changed that. That's been changing. And also the time slot, as I may have mentioned, the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., which I think is going to give us more opportunities to, uh, to share what's going on in real estate, particularly the Metro East. My background, basically, I've been in real estate now for going on two decades. I've had a successful team of agents working underneath me, and we're having some great success. I mentioned the book. Basically, the book is uh, available. It's absolutely free. Many, 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 many people have, have taken advantage of this offer. I offer it on the radio station. All you have to do is go to readysetsold.org, not .com, resetsold.org, not .com, and get the book. Uh, if, if, if maybe the time isn't right quite yet, but you're looking for spring, that's fine. Or maybe the time really is, is right, because we're really seeing conditions still so, uh, holding so strong to put your house on the market. Whether that's with me or someone else, that's fine. When I wrote the book, my intentions was to see how many people 
I could get the book into the hands, into in the Metro East and the St. Louis market, simply because there's so much, I say, misinformation, or maybe not intentionally, but there are so many shows on the East Coast and West Coast that are telling you how to sell your house. And that's not the Midwest. That's not the Metro East. That's not the St. Louis market. Uh, we have a different we have a different way of doing things, and and unfortunately, many times we've seen sellers take that information and spend thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars on improvements that they didn't need to make. They weren't going to have a return on investment, and then they turn around and have to spend more more money on on things that they did need to do. And if they would have just had that information that that's in the book. They wouldn't have to do uh, do that first part of spending all that money and all that time and that frustration level. So that's one of the reasons to get the book. It's really important. Again, ReadySetSold.org, Nat.com, and get the book for free. We'll mail it out to you. No questions asked. We'd love to get that information out. Also, we're on iTunes. Uh, you can find us on iTunes with podcasts and also Google Play. It's those times where, quite frankly, you don't have time maybe to catch the show, even though it does have an app, and that can be really put on your smartphone. But maybe you miss a show. Maybe you miss a segment. Uh, it's kind of all mapped out. If there's a certain section you're looking for, you just go to the podcast, pull up that section, uh, listen to it. Or it could be a situation where uh, you just want to listen to it again. Maybe there's something that you didn't, uh, you didn't pick up, and so you want to make sure you get that information to you. We want to make that available. We're on Facebook. Please like us on Facebook. That would be fantastic. And uh, it's Race at Soul with Brian Vogt. And also we're on YouTube and a variety of other areas. Uh, our, our goal is to try to get as much information out to as many people as we can so they can have success in selling their house. With that said, I also want to throw in that the Cubs are dead. Okay, Life is back to normal. Uh, for two years now, we've kind of struggled as Cardinal fans with the idea of Yes, they won the World Series. That's that's okay. After 108 years, you're allowed to have one. And, you know, just make sure that it's another 108 years before they have the next one. So so I just want to throw that out there. That uh, that's, that's a good thing. I'm uh, very happy about that. Hey, I have I have friends and even some family members that love the Cubs. Nothing wrong with that. I, I, I tolerate that. We all tend to, us Cardinal fans. Uh, so life is good with that. So that was one of the good things that has happened so far in the last couple of weeks. So uh, what we're going to be talking about today, we're going to be talking about the three things that you should be looking for before the agent actually hits the kitchen table. Meaning it's traditionally as agents, we go to the kitchen table, we have a conference, we kind of talk with you. But even before that, you want to have some things that you want to be looking for that can be really important and give you a, a heads up uh, if that's the right decision, if you made the decision that you want with the realtor. With that, last week we talked about why it was so important to Facebook and Google agents uh, find out, you know, where their website was, you know, what their demeanor was on Facebook, how they went about things, tell you a lot about it. that's even the person you want to contact. Today we're going to be talking about three things that you can start looking for when you make first contact, things that you should be looking for. It's really important that you know these things because there's an expression, how you do anything is how you do everything. And the first thing that you want to be looking at is simply when you contact them, number one, how fast do they contact you back? And number two, how do they contact you? One of the things that sometimes get sellers very, very frustrated is that they will call the agent. Um, the agent doesn't pick up. That happens. They will leave a message. And sometimes hours, sometimes shortly thereafter, the agent will text them back. Look, there's nothing wrong with texting. But often sellers are kind of, kind of surprised that they called. They wanted to have maybe a brief conversation. And the agent is more concerned about texting them back. Also, the voicemail will tell you a lot, too. In the voicemail, many times agents will say, well, you can leave a message, but it's better to text me. What that says, quite frankly, is, is that's their mode of communications. Maybe it's yours, too, and that's nothing wrong with that. However, however it's not, that might not be the direction that you want to go. Also, then, how fast do they respond back? 
with that, you know what, 24 hours is long gone. With, with, with realtors now having phones and having uh, basically their office in, in their pocket, uh, you should be looking for a fast response, whether it be a, uh, 20 minutes, an hour. And hopefully that they are glad to, to talk with you, that they're excited about that you've uh, given them the opportunity to talk with you and how they can help serve you. So that's the first thing we talk about. Later on in the show, we talk about other things that you need to look for uh, that may surprise you. Uh, coming up next, though, we're going to have the mayor of O'Fallon, Mayor Herb Roach. We're really excited about having him on the program. He's going to be talking about the great things O'Fallon has to offer. We'll be back in a few with the mayor of O'Fallon. See you then. <laughs> 